Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve problem 103 of chapter 16. Bar AB has the angular motion shown. So for bar AB, we have both the angular uh, velocity and angular acceleration. So I already know, I know everything about point B, the velocity and acceleration. Determine the velocity and acceleration of the cider block C at this instant. So the problem is asking for both velocity and acceleration. So we're gonna start with the velocity. So velocity at point C would be the velocity at point B plus the rotation, whatever rotation we have, or the relative velocity between the two. Uh, so we need to find velocity at B and add it to the velocity, the relative velocity to find velocity at C. This is the vector formulation as we talked, we can have two unknowns. Let's see what are our two unknowns. Velocity at C, we don't know the magnitude, but we know its direction. And if we assume this is our coordinate system, so you know velocity at C would be towards negative I. So VC, we don't know the magnitude, but I know the direction, so I write negative VC I. Velocity at B, I either can use the vector formulation saying that, okay, velocity at B is the same as velocity at A plus VB with respect to A, and velocity at A is zero, and then I have omega AB, which is counterclockwise, K cross RBA. That's the vector formulation. Or look at the problem and saying that, okay, the velocity at B has to be perpendicular to link AB. So that would be velocity of AB. And this angle would be 45, the same as this angle. And the magnitude is 0.5 times four. So that would be two. And find the two components of velocity at B. So both methods uh, give the same answer. So VB, if I continue with the vector formulation, I have 4K cross RBA. So the direction is very important. B with respect to A means from A to B. The magnitude is 0.5. The angle is 45, means 4 cosine and sine is the same thing. So 0.5 and both of them towards positive. Uh, x and y, so 0 0.5 square root of 2 over 2i. And the j component is the same, 0 0.5 square root of 2 over 2j. So I have k times i would give me the j component. And so that would be a square root of 2 over 2j. And k times i, the cross product will create a negative. So that would be negative a square root of 2 i. So I have the velocity at c, I have the velocity at b, or I have it in terms of a vector. I just need to write velocity c b in terms of a vector so I could use my vector uh, formulation. v c with respect to b is omega c b cross r c b. By looking at the problem again, omega c b uh, is an unknown. So the direction is also unknown. We know the direction is going to be in Z direction. So either it's clockwise or counterclockwise. By looking at a problem, if C is going towards negative X and velocity B would be in that direction. So this one is uh, rotating uh, clockwise. But if you assume counterclockwise, the seal you will get the negative answer at the end. That means that the direction you assume is incorrect. So you do not have to assume the correct direction necessarily. You can stick with counterclockwise all the time. And if you get a negative value, which means that your direction is clockwise. So omega CB is negative omega CB. That's one of the unknown. I don't, I don't have the, the magnitude. Or CB means from B to C. So let's look at the problem from B to C. That would be this vector that I want to find. If this one is 60, this one is 60. The X component would be cosine 60. And the Y component would be um, sine 60. The X component would be positive. 
then the work component would be negative. That would be I component and J component. Now that I have all my uh, vectors in a, all my components in vector format, I can write velocity as C, that equation again, is VB plus VC with respect to B. I write all I have for VC is negative VCI. I have the magnitude. I don't have the magnitude, but I have the direction. VB is negative square root of two I plus square root of two J. And I have half omega J. That's the result of the cross product of omega times the, the position vector. And this is omega CB, that's the omega that I, I wanna find. And look at this vector formulation again, you have I components, so the I components have to be the same if the equal sign is present. So on this side, we have negative VC, on that side I have negative square root of two. And the other R component that I have is negative square root of three over two uh, omega CB. And that should be I here. So it's square root of two. So I can't solve this by itself. I have one equation and two unknown. So I will go to the other equation. I don't have any J component on the left side, but on the right side, I have the square root of two, half of omega CB. So you can see omega CB can be determined here to a square root of two, and the unit is radian per second. If I plug in omega CB here, I can find VC to be 3.86 meter. So I found velocity C, omega CB, and uh, omega CB and velocity at C are both positive, means the direction that I assumed is, is correct. The vector format already has a negative sign. So the velocity, the magnitude is positive, but the vector format will give me the direction. But the problem is not done. The problem is also asking for the acceleration of cider block C. So I need to find the acceleration at C as well. So AC, I write the relative acceleration equation, which looks similar to the relative velocity equation, AC with respect to B. Similarly, I have to find the acceleration for, um, for each, I need to find the components, each component in a vector formulation. So for AC, I know that that point C is just a linear acceleration and it's towards this direction, the so negative ACI. Let me write my coordinate system here as well. Now I need to find AB. So AB, I can find AB based on what I have, based on A and the information that I have here. But AB has two components of acceleration. Both a tangential component, which would be alpha AB cross RB with respect to A. It should be in that direction. And also the normal component. So that would be negative omega AB squared cross RBA. So AB, alpha AB, I know the direction and the magnitude, so that would be 6K cross RBA, I already found RB with respect to A, the angle is 45, so the I and J component would be the same. So that's for alpha cross RBA. 
now negative omega a b a squared. So because it's a squared, so the, the sign doesn't matter. The magnitude is four, so a square root of um, four squared would be 16 cross RB again. And that's, that's not a cross product. It's, it's just simple multiplication because this one is a scalar. So let's be careful of that. So 16, again, I write R B A here. So everything is known in this equation. So I write acceleration at B after cross product and simplification, I get negative 5.5 square root of 2i minus 2.5 square root of 2j. And my unit system here is meter per second squared. So uh, I found AC, or I wrote it in a vector form, AB, I need to write AC with respect to B. So AC with respect to B has two components as well. So I have ACB tangential component, which is alpha CB K cross RCV. So if I want to write, I don't have the value for uh, alpha CB, so I just keep it as alpha CB for now. So if I write 0.5 alpha CB J, the schools of three over two alpha CBI. And RCB is from B to C. So RCB would be from B to C. So we already found that when we uh, solve for velocity. So that's the tangential component. Now I want to find the normal component as well. And the normal component is negative omega CB squared times RCB again. So the RCB. So I found omega CB in the first part of the problem when I was writing about relative velocity it was two square root of two. So that would be negative eight times 0.5i square root of three over two j. So that would be negative four i and plus four square root of three j. So now I have everything in terms of I and J. The unknown is one this alpha CB as well as AC. But because it's a vector formulation, I have, it gives me two equations. So I can solve for two uh, unknowns. So now let's write the general equation here. Negative AC I is the same as AB. So I just write AB. AB had two components, then AC with respect to B. First, the tangential component. Uh, have a CBJ. Root of three over two, alpha CBI. I'm going to write the other components here. So I have negative 4i and plus 4 square root of 3j as well. 
So these are the tangential, these are the normal. These two were the tangential component of AC with respect to B and these were AB. I just wrote everything in a, uh, my relative acceleration equation. So this equation gives me I and J. If I write the I components, I have here negative AC. I have negative 5.5 square root of two. I have uh, positive square root of three over two alpha CB. And I have a negative four. If I write the J component, I don't have any J component on this side. So this side would be zero. And the other side, I have negative 2.5 square root of two plus 0.5 alpha CB plus four square root of three. So looking at this equation, my only unknown is alpha CB. So I can find alpha CB here. So alpha CB is equal to, I write it here, negative 6.78 radian per second squared and AC 17.64. So you can see that for alpha C, I got a negative value, which means that the direction that I assumed is incorrect. For alpha CB, when I was writing the equation here, I used, I assumed a positive value means counterclockwise or alpha CB, but actually is clockwise. So that's the true direction of alpha CB. You can see it's okay if you make mistakes in finding the direction of alpha, especially for angular acceleration, it's very difficult to, to visually identify that the direction. So you can assume any direction and at the end, if you get a negative value, which means that that's the opposite of what you assumed. So the important thing about relative acceleration problem is that you need to know how many components of acceleration you have. For AC, because it was just moving along a horizontal link, so we had only one component. It's just a linear acceleration. For B, we had two components. And then for C with respect to B, also two components. And this problem wanted us to find a relative velocity as well. So we already found omega CB from the first part of the problem. Sometimes the problem is not asking you to find the relative velocity but you need it for a relative acceleration equation. So you have to do it anyway, even though the problem is not asking for it.